Ooh. Hey, what's good, y'all? My name is Key Ken, but y'all can call me Key K for short. And today, um, I'm gonna be doing a first reaction to Melanie Martinez. Uh, I was about to say I'm gonna be doing a first reaction for Melanie Martinez for the first time. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, I've never, I, I think I've listened to like a song or two before, but that's, that was a long, long freaking time ago. So I'm gonna be um checking out five songs, probably like. Or I probably consider her most popular or like her best. So uh, I'm going to be checking some joints out, some singles, and I'm um, just see how I like her. And see um, if I'm interested in actually checking out a full project. So without further ado, let's get this joint started. First song we're going to check out is Dead to Me. This effect is really creepy and kind of haunting. I think I remember she was kind of on some like creepy like Dollhouse vibes. I'm looking at the um, EP. It's from Dollhouse, so yeah, it makes sense. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! I like the way that jump came in. Hold on, that jump sound hard. This has this creepy, like, little dinging sound, and then it hits you with that psh, 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 psh. Like, I love the way the beat sounds. That junk, I love the snares on there. The drum pattern, that junk, cool. Let me hear that again. Hey! Uh. So is she going to the funeral of like some of some um, special person that she uh that died and is dead to her now or is like she killed this person in her mind right all the memories of them like you know that and she's just going to the like mentally going to their funeral and stuff like that yeah maybe maybe that's it interesting Sorry for all of the stupid shit you've done. Ooh. That song was dope. That was a that was that was dope. The dark, eerie, kind of warpy sound and the instrumental, and then when the drums kick in, it has a just a dark, a whole dark vibe to it. Very creepy and dark, and just the freaking subject matter. You're talking about oh, you're dead to me in my mind. I'm blocking out all the sweet things you've done. So they say like, therefore, you're dead to me. I'm gonna attend your funeral, like or your um your wake, you know, stuff like that. Like my condolence. It's a really interesting song, man. That was a really dope song. That was dope. All right, next song we're gonna be checking out is Copycat featuring Tierra Whack. This has to be very interesting because Tierra Whack is very weird too. So I am intrigued to hear this one. She really got Tierra Whack. Okay. So like another unsettling kind of airy kind of sound to it. The subject matter is interesting and the, the instrumental is kind of interesting, but I don't know, I'm not really really feeling this one like that. Okay. Mm. Hey. Okay, that was longer than I expected her to go. Nice. Okay, um, that one, that one was all right. Wasn't really feeling it like that, but it did give me like the instrumental did give me a feeling of just dread and just really unsettling vibes. It felt like I was in a, alone in a dark room, but like I felt like there was pe there was like creepy crawlies like around slowly creeping up on you as like you know as time goes on just you just you can just feel them slowly creeping up on you and you're like who just like the creep factor within your body is just so slowly like increasing and increasing but interesting though but here i loved her verse i loved her verse she that was a nice verse man i'm still waiting on that freaking album i don't know when she's gonna drop another freaking album sheesh i know y'all gonna hate me you're gonna be like listen to this and listen to that one but I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna be different. 
Um, next track we're going to listen to is Gingerbread Man. I am... The cover art looks kind of... Oof. So, let's check it out. So that's creepy dollhouse vibes. I like this effect. It feels like... I don't know. It feels like I'm I'm in a barren place, but it feels like there's just still a lot surrounding me. It feels like I'm alone, but I'm not alone at the same time. Cause like there's like these different sounds within the instrumental and the freaking like echo kind of vocals, you know, it, it gives off that kind of vibe. Pretty cool. Oh, we this darkness. Do not listen to her before you go to sleep, please. I'm gonna have all the nightmares. Hmm. Ooh, that's creepy. I only want the ones that never see me. So you're just gonna like creepily sneak up on them. Uh, you don't see me. Gotcha! And then chomp. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. That, that's scary. Is a gingerbread bread man like a metaphor for something? Or is it like blatantly talking about gingerbread man? Either way, it's cool. Okay, um. Another very creepy and very sinister, dark kind of track. Gave me, you know, really just unease and gave me chills up my spine. Tell me, you need a gingerbread man without feet. And I like the ones that can't see me. So, like, do you want someone who won't run away from you? Is that basically, is that, oh, it's probably it. Because, you know, gingerbread man, like, run as fast as you can, something like that. You can't catch me on a gingerbread man. So you want someone, like somebody, who won't run away from you, no matter like what the circumstances are, like who will like, you know, love you no matter what? Is that what it is? If that's so, that's interesting. Let's try um, the bakery. Okay. Hey. hey! I like the minimalism and the freaking just uns uh, continuing with the unsettling nature of her uh, aesthetic. It just, you know, feels very unsettling, but it has that bop to it. I, 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 it's cool. Hey, she's running this. Hey, hey, make that box. Hey, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a like on, on that one. I'm gonna hit a like on that one. That was a dope track. Nice, um, chill and sinister groove, you feel me? Very minimal too. And you know, talking about the bakery, gonna raise the dough. So of course she getting that paper, she getting that money. Gonna like increase the money, gotta get that money up. You feel me? And the bakery, try, I'm, not, I'm not trying to roll it, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get that dough, I'm trying to get that dough. Try to get that green! Okay, and the last track we're gonna be listening to is Play Date. Let's um give it a nice and solid listen. Haha. -ha. Ooh, okay, I might like this one. Kinda has a more bright vibe to it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Mm. Ooh. Ooh, what does this what he do? Ooh. This sounds so dope! I gotta run away. <laughs> oh my god, oh my gosh. What? This production is still uh, still sounds like sinister, right? But it has like a more bright and kind of more um vibrant tone to it. I like this. And this this person just playing her like a fiddle, like I'm just a play date to you. F you. I'm gonna crap out you. B. Quit playing. Quit playing. Oh. Ain't no way. No way. No way. You're lying. You really gonna give this dude a second chance like that? He was he really treating you bad. That's not crazy. But that was a great freaking song. That was a great song. I love the vibrant nature of it. It still had like 
a little bit of unsettling tone natures to it, but it really felt vibrant, more like ding dongy. <laughs> It just, it just, it just felt cool. I felt like more vibe, positive vibe, but you know, the whole thing being played like a, a fiddle and stuff like that. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. But um, yeah, man, that was my uh, first um reaction to Melanie Martinez, and I have to say, she's cool. She's cool. I like her aesthetic. I like her vibe. Um, I really like the creepy um dollhouse kind of um aesthetic that she has going on with how like she um, presents herself after she presents her um, image and how she presents it in the music. It's really dope. It get, it's really um, interesting, you feel me? I haven't really heard like much like it like for a while. So it's good to see like someone with a unique um, style to them. And it's really dope. And she has some really like dark and like really um, actual like cutting lyrics too. I really like her um, lyricism, what she talks about, you feel me? Like, and how she presents it. If it's about, like, you know, heartbreak, she'll, like, reference it to, like, you know, like, like right here as a play date or, like, being a toy or, like, you know, a doll and stuff like that. And, you know, references to fairy tales and stuff, but, you know, like, the gingerbread man folk tales and stuff. That junk cool. That junk's really cool. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. Um, yeah, man. If y'all enjoyed my reaction, May it to the end, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Um, leave me down some suggestions of what I should react to next. You feel me? Um, what album should I check out of Melanie Martinez, if anything? Uh, you know, leave me some suggestions. You feel me? Uh, thank y'all so much for watching again. I love the heck out of y'all. Melanie <laughs> Martinez. I just pour some walking y'all up in the fucking beach crush. I just flew to Italy to grab a slice of pizza. We just live it different, but to you that doesn't mean much. I just heard your album, hold your no, you kinda stink.